Welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Vlogs, where in this one we are, well, it's three parts. First, fresh new buildings using Blackstone. Second, we got the Great Bell Discovery, our greatest Minecraft villager discovery yet. And then part three, we're gonna build something. I think I have an idea. But yes, welcome back, and we are in a different area right here. I mean, a slightly different area. You know the fountain, you know Boogadabai, you know the... Big scratch. This skyscraper is very large. I mean, we're talking very large. We got to get some bigger buildings in. But that's not the short change of fact that we got new buildings in anyways. Yes, we could throw the replay mod up or we could scaffolding. As we ascend together to the top to find, oh my gosh, new additions to the city skyline. Now, if we take an overhead view right now, this is the new area. And in this new area, we have one, two, three four and five new buildings okay this one and that one are just different colors but you 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 still get the point point. and in getting the point let's take a look at how these buildings were made now we didn't go about this in just a regular way i mean it wasn't anything too crazy but what we did was we built the default villager buildings first as an outline for the transformations that we are about to see yeah i just thought that would be cool because then it goes from an actual default village to the village city style that we're creating so as you're seeing on screen that's what we did first and i'm not gonna lie it took a little bit longer than i expected it to but it was worth it in the end and then unless i'm forgetting something the next thing to do was to transform the actual buildings and so to work with we had the clay small house seven by seven in dimensions we had the uh larger house i would call it i guess village and pillager update man they they got all kinds of buildings and then we have the double-sided split uh, to, uh i don't know this one whatever you call the one on screen i mean seriously though what is that design like a duplex like what and then crucial of course to this entire build the black stone because as we know we just recently updated to the new nether and so yes i'm about 50 years late to finding out that black stone is awesome so of course i wanted to build with it add it to the city and let's talk about how i went about using it so first small house seven by seven well actually first let's just mention this building right here was the first one i designed with the new black stone blocks the intention was to use it as an accent detail complementary to the wood stripped oak of course but so after testing around and doing that building i wanted to test with a black stone primary block building and so that's what this small house is to make it the primary block we put the edges as blackstone that makes the blackstone color the more dominant within the building and then we can accent it with of course stripped oak and glass details highlight details of this one is the split edges you know what i mean like having the octagon type shape is that an octagon compared to the completely squared off like this but so that building came together it's pretty cool and it was the first addition in our village city that we built in also one of the shorter ones then we came over here and we built in the blackstone accent detail building with the stripped oak wood and i mentioned that once again because we have the birch on the other one we'll get to that in one moment but i wanted to use oak on this one primarily in the village city right here because we have the birch stripped oak building the farmer building with all the farmers walking around right behind it so we didn't want to have a birch against a birch we wanted oak to be contrasting you know just to give it some variety in terms of what you're looking at that's always a goal we got to keep in mind as we design the city now i like how this building looks some people say a little bit too much black stone which i can understand you could use some andesite walls which is what we did on this building over here to just lighten up the texture a bit but i wanted to go full contrast and we have the glass to kind of give it some light with that one plugged in we went to the birch style and of course, as you can see, there's a height difference in this one. That was the key. Just as we have to vary the textures throughout the village city as we design it, we also want to vary in the different heights of the buildings. And so we decided to go taller with the birch. And I like how it turned out. I'm not sure which one I like more, the birch with the black stone or the oak version with the black stone. I mean, what do you think? Let me know in the comments oak or birch from there we were on to this other side corner as you can imagine we got another lot to fill right next to it but we wanted to start with another black stone primary block building right here the cool thing about all these new buildings are they are very different to each other except of course the matching ones but you get the point and so again black stone as a primary detail block by having it as the edges of the building but a lot more variation in this one using andesite walls as we mentioned before complemented with the glass and then the oak stripped oak and the oak slabs rounding out the top of the roof we also have that variation in height because it kind of matches with the original villager uh default building design you know having those two different sides so that's how that idea came to mind and it's pretty cool as well and then finally the standout one 
which funny enough is actually kind of my favorite building design of these new five and the reason that's funny is because the idea was to build with blackstone but this one is not blackstone it's our second favorite black in all of history smooth stone with the greatest black stripped oak wood i don't know it just came together real well it's in that seven by seven uh small house frame but instead of using all the space we went with a five by five shape to capture and slot into that area and then even just the roof detail i like how it turned out reminds me of a helicopter landing pad similar to the los angeles kind of buildings uh gta 5 and like we did on this one up there so if we ever happen to get an elytra then <laughs> might be uh useful but boom bam pow those are the buildings ow 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 and as we take a look look at the city skyline oh my gosh i just love it so much the simplistic skyscraper style that's us by the way we got a cat i mean i don't know what to name this cat it's an all white cat it's like a uh, ghost or snow i kind of like the name snow even though i hate snow in real life but yes walking throughout the cool thing about this here let's get our shovel out and do a little bit of live alleyway digging as well this is one of the coolest details we have alleyways just everywhere now so as we move through we originally oh what are those doing there i was wondering why i wasn't at 60 but one thing we wanted to do with the city from the start was have alleyways this one has always actually been here but it did not lead forward as it does now into kind of this advanced section and if i have slabs i do have slabs we can go like this boom 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 we should probably replace well let's do that i do not have any Perch. Oh man, that's gonna kill me. Hmm. Nope, I can't handle it. Sure, we'll grab one block. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Thank you. But we now have these alleyways all throughout the village city. Condensed buildings. As you look up, you're surrounded by the high rises. That's the idea. That's the goal. And we just truly love it. But so the key here is, is we have these alleyways and you'll notice we have this path. And I guess we also will notice that we're missing a door on this building right here. But that's, uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. But the purpose to all of this is intentional. Because right here, as we enter part two of this episode, is the great owl discovery of the bell.